Hey y'all, I just wanted to give you an update on the uh, cotton ball slash rock wool cube plant growing experiment. Well, uh, give you some interesting stuff, interesting observations that is. I didn't know this, but apparently, let me get you over to my Swiss shard. Swiss shard sometimes throws up out of one seed like multiple and different color plants. So here's one with a big plant and a little plant coming out of one seed. Here's one with two plants coming out of one seed. Here's one, uh, oh, can you see? Three plants coming out of one seed. One big one there and two small ones. And they all have different color stems. <laughs> That's the bright lights for you. So here's uh, some red rhubarb shard, two coming out of one. Spinach is doing good. Let's see some more of that. Here's absolute evidence of two different colored bright light shard plants coming out of one seed. You can see their leaves are still stuck in that seed. Two plants coming out of one uh, red rhubarb shard. You get the idea on that. There's some more of that. And here you can see an example of um, why, you know, I'm going to get to this. Uh, there's some, some, um, some of the roots get dried out. Okay, that's one of um, my, I guess you could say, uh, result observations. Is that basically, I don't like growing in rock wool or cotton balls. First reason being is that you have to be absolutely so precise when you sow your seeds. You got to take all these little tiny specks, and that's the speck of a, like the size of a speck of a piece of sand. Okay, and you got to be like, Boop, boop, boop. And you got to put them each on every specific little cube or cotton ball. And I don't like being that specific. I would much rather sow into a mixture of sand and peat moss, 50-50, or like sand and coconut core, 50-50. And then just kind of, um, you know, pick the, the seedlings out after they, they uh, emerge. Then be so precise in putting them out to begin with. Um, and the other thing is I have readjust, have had to readjust um, the seedlings. I haven't done, I'm not going to do any of that really with the spinach, the shard, or the um, coleus, which is just starting to emerge here now. Um, and by the way, it is uh, April 7th. And this stuff was sown on March 28th. So, yeah, um, it, but these, all the other varieties here, the flower seeds, um, I have readjusted them. Like, the, for example, the moonflower here, I have, you know, pointed them in the right direction. And this one here. You know, the um, roots aren't really digging into the cotton ball that much. So what I've done is kind of squeezed in the roots a little, you know. And even when they're getting in the hole, there's still a lot of the root exposed. I just don't like this. Um, I, I like the rock wool for, like, doing cuttings. I don't like it for starting seeds. That's how I feel about it right now. Um, what I will be doing is basically aborting the lower portion of the experiment and just leaving the um, less expensive uh, spinach shard and uh, coleus seeds to remain until the end in the experiment. But all this other stuff here, I will be repotting uh, very soon into like uh, little uh, cup size pots. Cups, actually, with a potting mix and sand. And a lot of the reason for that, I mean, even even when this thing, um, this is a four o'clock plant here, it was started right in a hole, and instead of the root penetrating into the hole, the root pushed the plant out, you know? Um, 
see. Uh, same thing with this uh, giant marigold here. I just don't like it. I've had to play with it too much. Um, yeah. So the lower part of the experiment um, will be... Yeah, you can see that really good here with my uh, morning glories. They were stretching a little bit because I didn't have them under light, and they were like the first, the first most vigorous seeds to come out. Um, but I'll get them squared away. They'll be all right. That, so that's it. Um, generally speaking, I, I don't like growing into uh, rock wool or cotton balls. This will all be aborted. This will all be continued to the end. All right. Thank you for watching. Um, I'm sure because I switched my camera around uh, multiple times, some of this will end up being sideways. And I apologize for that. I'm still new at doing the YouTube video thing. All right. Uh, oh, by the way, the weather here has been like uh, about 40 something degrees and rainy. So it's like raining inside a refrigerator here on this beautiful spring day. But I'm loving it. All right. God bless.